Good morning, folks. My name is Rolich, and welcome back to Rocket League. Uh, today we're going into the second half, which is the 4 and 5 Express against the 6 and 3 Bombers and the 5 and 4 Guardians. So this is going to be a relatively difficult stretch. Of course, last time was supposed to be an easy stretch, and the Knights managed to lose all three of them. So we will see how they've managed to fare. Uh, if they repeat last week's performance, they are out of the playoffs, and this will become a short series. So, let's get started. Let's see if they can turn it around and keep whatever hopes they have of a playoff berth alive. Welcome to Week 10, Central Station. It's Knights versus the Express. Knights just barely win that face-off. And Stinger hits it right in the field, but it's batted back by Tusk. But Stinger's there for a follow-up. Pushing it out, and... Nope, Sabretooth manages to get it out, and Tusk starts to take, take it away. Oh, goes out the block, misses. Beast and Rollers are fighting over the same position here. Tusk goes to the corner. Sting is in that. Tusk versus Beast in this corner. Rollers comes in to break up the kerfuffle. Beast, Rollage comes out on top of that match. Rollage puts it back, trying to get someone to follow up on it. Beast comes back, Tusk manages to block it. Pushes it all the way back to the net. And Stinger trying to get around it. Stinger manages to block it. Rollage gets it out. Like for the shot on that, no, for the setup for Stinger. Stinger follows it up. And it's blocked by Sabretooth. Beast. Swings the lid misses. Knowledge gets a bad angle on it. Stinger manages to get it out. Knowledge follows it up, pushes it in. Knowledge and Stinger both push it in. Stinger gets the point for it though. With an assist for Knowledge. It's our first point this match. Uh, the Knights starting out relatively strong this time. Uh, we have way more than half the match to go, so we will see if they can hold that lead. Three, two, one, go. Rollage gets to it first. Knocks it deep into... Express. Yeah, deep into Express's territory. Nope. And Express is fighting themselves here. Rollage swings and misses. Oh, and the ball gets back over here. Stinger pushes it in. Rollage try to follow up, but is blocked by Tusk. Rollage goes for the block, and Beast manages to save it. Super Sabretooth misses. Beast comes up. Rollage nicks the ball ever so slightly, but not enough to get the deflection. Beast taking it back. Stick and Stinger in the net. Rollage trying to block it. Beast pushing it in, and Stinger is caught up in a kerfuffle and does not manage to get back in the net enough to block. Score is 1 1 with 2 minutes and 50 seconds left. Probably forces the playoffs for another Knights victory. Uh, the Knights are 3-for-3 three three so far. Good shot on net! And the second shot, and Rollage scores on the rebound. Making it 2-1, to one, Knights. Knights look look in much better form than they were last time. Less mistakes by Rollage. Um, apt to goalkeeping. I'm just, I'm just pressing this express team. Again, Knights push it all the way back. Rollage, the physics broke on him again. It did not manage to actually jump in the direction he wanted it to. Cuts off, tries to hit Beast. Stinger nearly scores in his own net again. And Beast puts it in very easily. That was a weird set of plays by the Knights there. Good follow up by the Express, though. Knights push it again. Another victory. Beast is right there to quickly turn that tide. Stinger pushes it back. Sabretooth running back in the net. Tusk blocks the shots from Stinger. Beast comes up. Tusk and Rollage. Rollage gets it over and scores the third goal of the match. There's a two for Rollage in this game. Uh, it's both of which are on rebounds and setups. 
actually getting the setups this game, and it's not being blocked by the enemy team, so... You know, this seems to be his place to shine here. Another face-off. The Knights, again! The Knights have not lost a playoff, a face-off, so far this match. There's a bounce. Rollage was coming up to get that rebound, but blocked. Pushes back. Tusk is driving! Oh crap! Stinger's in nets. Can he block it? Please puts it in past Stinger again. Forget what I said about the up school scorekeeping. Goalkeeping. Cause Stinger is crap. Where's Hex? She was a good goalkeeper. And here we go with a high scoring game here. Rollage forces it again. Jumps at it, Beast knocks it away from him. Sabretooth puts the ball up and back into the Knight's corner. And... Stinger, the goalkeeper, is nowhere to be found, and... Beast on the Knight's team puts it directly in the net. It's a stormy day inside, oh my goodness, see that lightning. Describes the Knights' whole season, and the Knights lose their first play, their first face-off face of this game. Here comes Tusk, driving up towards the center, beast and goal! Who does Jekyll? Well, she goes up the block. Well, she nicks it. The ball doesn't seem to respond very well, and it's up! Right over the goalpost. Rollage screws up. Comes Tusk, bouncing it just forward. Rollish forces Beast to hit the ball properly by ramming him. Tusk gets it and pushes it. This Express team has suddenly turned on the juice, and the Knights are having a hard time getting it out of their corner. Beast losing another face of Sabretooth. And Beast pushes it right. Tusk puts it right in. 5-3. What was, promise, what was a promising game is now hopeless. Or the hopeless loss for the Knights. Knights win another face-off. Come on, go over that way. Pushes it up, Sabretooth blocks it. Rallies gets another goal. That's a hat-trick for him this game. Making it 4-5. to five. There is a very slim chance this game that the Knights will manage to pull off a tie, go into overtime, and have a shot at winning. Very slim. In fact, if they don't put it in right off the start, I wouldn't put it in there. Rollage gets the first toss touch, but it's a purely neutral face-off. Rollage hits it backwards somehow, and that's game. Despite a rather stellar performance from Rollage, they just can't pull it off. Once again, the Knights have problems with putting the goal in their own net. Pizza top. Well, I might as well put that on my card, because that's about what the, this guy's going to have to do. So, Rollage actually scores the most points of anyone in this game with 340 points, with three goals and an assist, and four shots on net. Even Beast's leading score for the Express did not top that, with three goals and four shots. But, Sabretooth came up with a goal, assist, two saves, and four shots, which is a pretty stellar all-around play. Tusk with one goal, one assist, two saves, and a shot. Uh, the Express team was fairly good on defense, but, you know, Rollage still managed to get around them, Stinger managed to get a point, and Beast was all around useless on the Knights team. So with that loss, um, there's 16 games, they lose one more, and they're going to be strictly at 8-8 eight eight at best. Now they're facing the Bombers, the second place team, who have no real emotion against. They have no real reason to not let the, not crush them. So, Englishman, English. Let's fire this announcer. All right, it's Arc Station. I love this man. Riley starts off strong. It's a caster blocks it. Rollage, make sure it stays well in Bomber's territory. Myrtle, complete miss. 
Knowledge has been trying to get in the a good goal, but doesn't manage it. Casper scores on an empty net, no poor boy. 16 seconds into the match. Hey, Texas back finally. Knowledge puts it up. Shot on goal, just shy. With no juice to fire. Stinger pushes it back towards it. Not even a shot on net though. Samara is going to come up and try to clear it. <sighs> Stinger blocks Relish from taking a shot on net by hitting it to the side. Dex pushes it up. Casper's got it. Relish forces his way in there. The ball is out. If Stinger misses it, it'll be a. No, no, it's. Dex manages to come in. That should block the back. Tex and Stinger are having it out and fighting each other instead of the enemy team. Myrtle versus Tex. Tex is victorious as she deflects the ball well away from the goal. Brothers deflects it. Not enough. But flips and Samara has an easy goal cutting up. But Tex comes up on the side and gets the first point for the Knights. Making this a 1-1 game. Tiny game, guys. Come on, we can win the 1-1s. Go! Rallage forces another victory for the Knights in the face-off. Stinger pushes it forward. Samara blocks it. Myrtle bounces it to the other side for no real reason. Stinger's going after it. Stinger and Samara. He hits it up. It's not early enough for Rallage to get much of a shot. It does deflect it though and prevent it from going straight at their net. Tex swings and misses. Myrtle full shots Rawlish into the ball. Can you please stop hitting me? Seriously, yeah. And Rawlish is bullied all the way to the corner, completely unable to do anything while the drive is in progress. And so five seconds left, and the Knights are down by one. Whoa! The ball stays put and Rollers just goes flying. Here comes Stinger on the right side, pushing that ball up. Samara manages to get hold of it. Rollers just flings himself forward and misses. Um, Stinger shot, misses. The wide left. Tex puts it in. Casper puts it in. Ah! Rollers forces it in there and gets the point for it. 50 points, 2-2, two two, about halfway through this match. Going in, but Rollis just absolutely made sure that was going in, no matter what. With all the other shenanigans that have happened in the last five or so games, it never, never hurts to be safe. Knights just barely win it, but Casper follows up. Leach over, overestimates here. Can Stinger get back around to get a good shot? Block? Nope. Casper puts it right in. Every goal the Knights have scored had been followed up immediately by Express. Also evidence of poor hand. Casper blocks it. And Stinger for the defense on the Knights. Gets it to about midfield. Tex getting to better position while Myrtle and Casper come up. Tex is the goalie. Stinger. Rollage. Everyone's falling up here. Rollage well, keeps it pushed out. Making sure it doesn't go anywhere. Takes the defensive position in front of the net. Um... Hmm, that was weird. With no momentum, Samsara managed to knock the high momentum Rollage out of the way. Physics, they be broke. Tex and Rollage come in for it. Casper blocks it. Stinger puts it back. Casper pushes it back again. Good trench battle here. Stinger hits it the wrong way for an express victory, but Rollage forces it back towards midfield and into express territory. Samsara and Casper are battling it out. Oh yeah, and Rollage gets the point from capitalizing on the inter-team battle between Samara and Casper. Once again, both of Rollage's goals this game have come effectively from goal stealing. Uh, however, it doesn't hurt to be safe. Point. Hey, Rollage wins that and bumps Casper out of the way. Oh, Tex misses it from a shot from Myrtle, pushing it back towards midfield. 
Myrtle pushes it forward. Marla jumps, forces it momentum back towards the express territory. Forces it forward. Blocked by Myrtle. Rollage passes it to Stinger. Takes a shot on that, but is blocked by Myrtle. Tex coming up for the shot. Block hits it right at Rollage, who doesn't even have time to get out of the way. Tex takes her shot. Rollage follows it up, but hits it too high, right over the goalpost. Stinger, ample opportunity, puts it forward. It's blocked by Samar. Stinger blocks it again. Stinger and Casper, he puts it. But Casper blocks it. Rollage prevents it from going downfield. But not sufficiently enough to get it really in anywhere. Tex pushes it back into Express Territory. Samara for Stinger. Stinger wins! And Stinger puts it right in for a 4-3 lead for the Knights. Can they hold off for 30 seconds to their first win in six losses? Look at that. Riding that ball all the way to the goal. Let's see if they can hold. Every other goal they scored has been immediately followed up by a goal from the Express. Oh, there's bumps it. It's a tiebreaker still. Myrtle's going to be the one to break that tie for a Express victory. Well, she forces it back. Tex versus Samara and Casper. Alright. Rollage follows it up to battle with Samara. So Tex missed. Stinger comes out of nowhere to push the ball back. Stinger extending play for some reason. The Knights win it for their first win in six games. MVP is Rollage with four shots on goal. And two extra goals. Stinger, or the goalkeeper, and Tex, aggressor, and tactician. Eye on the red, common rocket trail to Rollage. Um, Casper was really the MVP of the entire game with considerably more points uh, than anyone else in the game. With three goals, three saves, and three shots on net. But the official one is Rollage with two goals and four shots. Stinger had one goal, one assist, one save, and three shots. A good all-arounder. Tex had one goal and three shots, and not much else. The Bombers, 90 points for Myrtle, one assist, one save, and Samara did nothing. So Tex is back, and the Knights managed to win one. And now for the final game, they are 4-7. and seven. This is going to be a tough match. They need the Rebels and or Pioneers to lose the next several games, while the Knights have to win everything. Let's go into Week 12 against the 6-5 and five Guardians, who are recently out of the playoff contention. And they're going to be fighting to keep their playoff hopes alive as well. Welcome to Utopia Coliseum on this blustery winter day. The 4-7 and seven Knights face the 6-5 and five Guardians. And it's a Junker! Nope, no one's really grabbing the ball. Rollage hits it just like fitting it. And there's our first goal in the game, and eight seconds in by Rollage. Our first shot on goal. This is a good start for the Knights, but the last time they started so strong, they were crushed in the end. Two, one, go. There's the faceoff. Knights force another uh, victorious faceoff here. Irwin. Dead is the mobility. Rollish is pull shotted directly back to where he was. Junker pushes it forward. Eh, turning radius. Erwin hits it. Junker hits it back. The Junkers are about to battle it out. And the Knights Junker is victorious. Pushing it back over the center, but Sentis comes and blocks it. And once again, the physics don't quite work the way Rollish wanted them to. Forces Sentis out of the way. Junker hits it across the center. Rollage gets it in there for the second goal again. Barely hitting that goal post and getting it. The goal post to the crossbar into the net. And that was... No, that may not have been going in. So I don't think that one was considered a goal steal. That looks like it may very well have gone to the corner and stopped. 2 nothing over the Guardians. Until this Knights team has finally decided to actually start fighting. Junker comes in for the tiebreak. Blocked by his own team member. Gets it across into the Knights territory ever so barely anyway. Rollage comes up, blocks it, but Gerwin's second shot gets over him. Junker pushes it out. And this Guardian team is starting to push. 
keeping it into Knight's territory. Sentes comes up, swings and misses. Gerwin hits it. Stinger spawns. Rollage. Ariel hits it, getting it past Junker, pushing it well deep into territory. And Ch Stinger sticks it in, making sure it's there. Rollage is right behind him to ensure a good score. Three to nothing over the second place team. The Knights have this weird thing where they beat the crap out of high level teams and lose horrendously to low level teams. And Gerwin wins this one. And the Guardians. The Knights, the first uh, face off they've lost in a while. Rollage catches it on the way down, hits it up, up and over. Junker responds. Stinger responds to that. Of the center, Sentis with Junker and goal. And Junker swings and misses. Rollage manages to get over the ball and get it out of there. Again, jumping over Sentis, forcing the ball out. Gets the ball. That's going to be an easy block there for Junker. Oh, and Gerwin puts it in his own net for a hat trick for Rollage. Four nothing with two minutes and fifty six seconds left. The Knights finally finding their stride. Three, two, one. Go! Rollage on the first touch hit. Hits the crossbar and bounces back. Stinger responds straight into the net. 5 0 Knights with more than half left to go. Stinger holding back there, just perfectly hitting it and just completely following up beautifully on Rawlish's initial shot. 3 2 1. Raleigh swings and misses. That's not good. The Knight's net is completely open. Junker fights for it. Vicentis is there. Ah, oh, Stinger can't get there in time either. So for the first point for the Guardians. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> that, was, that was just horrible for, for the Knights. Raleigh, especially, as he went flying over the goal. Under the everything. Raleigh manages to get the first shot this time. Jumps too high. And the ball is back into Knight's territory. Stinger hits the ball. The, the Knights that uh, may have been getting cocky here. Rollage hits it, forcing it over the goal. And preventing any further shots on that. Using Sentis as a pool ball. Forcing it up. Stinger hits it and misses. Sentis hits it and misses. Pushes it up. Junker. Rollage cannot get into it any kind of decent position. Ah, that was aggravating. Sentis score the second point. Uh, at this rate, this will be a close game again. Come on, Knights, don't fail me. Erwin Rollage, Sentis, and Stinger. And Rollage gets the first touch. It's a neutral ball. Junkers comes up. Sentis manages to hit it first. Another lost uh, face off here. Rollage knocks it out, making sure that ball does not get anywhere. Stinger and Rollage are both going for it. Rollage misses. Stinger. Junker actually manages to come back to it. Stinger and Net hits the cross goal. Stinger. Hits it over! It's going wide! Rollage forces it in there! 6-2. to two. At the minute, 38 seconds left to the net. That was kind of an awkward pause there, but, you know, he got it in. Gerwin and Junker were helpless to do anything about that. One, go! The healthy lead here. And the Knights win the first face off in a while. The last, losing the last two or three. Well, they just hits it up, but manages to get it both wide and over the top. Stinger completely misses it, but also cancels out Junker. Well, they just hits it up. He's almost setting himself up if he'd have been in a better position. Stinger and Gerwin smash into each other, both of them missing the ball in exactly the same place. Gerwin hits it. Stinger hits it up. Junker completely whiffs. Rollage pushes it in, but Stinger gets the point somehow. That was interesting. Stinger hits it here. Junker misses it. Rollage hits it. Maybe it was Gerwin that actually hit it back in, and Rollage was just a hair's breadth off the entire time. No matter. The Knights are up 7 2. A minute, 5 seconds left. Rollage tries it again. Perfect. Goes right in that net. No one else touched it. 
just the right amount of bounce that Gerwin the goalie could could not do much of anything about it. Eight to three, holy crap, this is a massacre. Worried him for a second for the Knights there, but it seems that was not necessary. College flings himself forward, kind of misses it. Junkers doesn't manage to get it as Garwin pushes it out. Sentis versus Stinger. Stinger pushes it forward. And Stinger forces it in again over a 9 to 2 score. Beautiful playmaking there. 44 seconds left. Let's see if the Knights set to see the Knights can hold. Surely even they can not lose this. Knights with another victorious faceoff. Probably just forcing it over the Gerwin. Santis coming up. Stinger, Junker. Junker forces it forward. Stinger tries to block it but fails. Stinger. I'm sorry. Junker blocks it. The Junkers are battling it out. Raleigh is in a terrible position here. Junkers hit it forwards for Gerwin and Sentis are gonna Sentis pushes it back. Blocked by Can't see who that was. Raleigh is going for it. Oh, doesn't manage to get there in time before Junker does. Nine, eight, seven, six, four. Junker goes for it. Junker scores with two seconds left, making this ten to two. Not sure. I guess the Guardians have just given up at this point. I was just going to go for a single shot, but nah, no one's going to get to it. The winner is again the Knights for to actually start a winning streak. Raleigh MVP with five goals on five goals. The Prodigy six goal was the striker. Joker. And yeah, you got rid of it for me. Raleigh can see Spider common wheels. Raleigh, holy crap, 525 points this run for Raleigh. Five goals, one assist, and six shots on net. Stinger coming up second with four goals, one save, and three shots on net. The third place person in this case goes to the Guardians with 160 points. Sentis with one goal, one assist, and two shots. Junker for the Knights bringing up fourth with one goal, one assist, one shot. And Gerwin with one goal, one shot. Junker in dead last with 60 points, having only an assist and a shot. Junker for the Guardians, I might add. So with that victory, the five and seven knights have a slim chance, I think, of pulling this out and actually emerging victorious. Right now they are tied for seventh with the Skyhawks, who they play next. Um, yeah, they, they might have a chance. The Rebels and the Pioneers need to both lose. The Pioneers are unlikely to lose this next match. The Rebels, yeah, it could go either way in that one. So we will see how this goes. Um, the Guardians are fairly likely to lose again, which, with a victory for the Knights, will push them up to third. Actually, if the Rebels win, Express falls, and the Knights will jump to fifth, putting them next in line for a playoff spot. So these next two weeks are going to be real interesting. They have a shot, somehow, after the horrendous set of weeks, this five-game losing streak here. They managed to pull off two wins. So, anyway, my name is Relish, and that is all I have for you today. So, if you liked it, let me know. Um, if you're enjoying Rocket League, subscribe. We have a minimum of two episodes left. Uh, if I get to the playoffs, it'll be three. If I get to the final, it'll be four. So, feel free to subscribe and join us for the rest of this journey. Alright, I'm signing out. Y'all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers.